Hey guys, Dojo here, and today we're going over the anti-micro settings for the GMK joystick. Here we go. Okay, when you first get your GMK joystick and plug it in by default, you have this stiff feeling kind of movement. I highly recommend that you don't play on this. Go download anti-micro and it will look like this. Now that you guys have it downloaded, we're going to open it up and you're going to get a screen that looks just like this. Notice the four cardinal directions, up, down, left, and right. We are going to change this. So if you follow me, click left stick, the center button here, and under stick mode, we're going to change it from standard to eight way. Now what this does is, let me show you, it gives us instead of the four up, down, left, right, it's going to give us up and everything in between, up, left, left bottom left down you guys get what i mean now that we have eight way on we're gonna set it to what our fortnite movement is so i just pick four keys that are out of my way that i won't ever press in this case o left bracket p right bracket and i'm just gonna set them accordingly so my up will be o um left will be left bracket right will be right bracket down will be P and for the top left you're gonna make it the same as your left and the bottom left also and then top right will be the same as right which is right bracket bottom right will be right bracket as well so these three will match and these three will match so now that you guys have your key bind set up we're gonna do the settings for the stick so if you click left stick here like we did before we're gonna open up this menu now we got a couple of settings here. You just play around with the sliders, you can kind of see what they do. So this dead zone is the area which your analog stick will not register. I like to keep mine around 12,000. The smaller your dead zones are, the quicker the reactions for things like moving left and right are. But these things come with quite a bit of drift, so make sure they're big enough so that you're not moving without touching the stick. For the second slider, if we just hover over max zone, says value in analog stick is considered moved 100%. We could probably just leave this at default value. Okay, for this one, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Diagonal range. By default, it's 45. So this white area over here, that's the range where only up will be input. But as soon as I cross over to green, that's when up and left will be input, up and right. Same thing, bottom right, bottom left. I like to bring this up a little bit. Around 65 to 70 so that you don't really have to move too much to be inputting left and right while you move. Now for this last one, square stick. I don't really understand what it does, but if we hover over, I'll read it. Percentage to modify square stick coordinates to confine values to a circle. So if I turn this on, it does kind of look like it's being confined to some kind of shape, but I, I don't really understand it, so I just leave it off and it feels good anyway. Now when you guys are done, click close and make sure you save it. You can have multiple profiles. I have Fortnite, Super People, Warzone, and you just click and pick whatever one you want for whatever game. Now with these settings, you guys can kind of do these cool, real deep cuts. You'll be able to hit these nice cone jumps, you know? Now here are my personal settings that I have. I'll leave them up. If you guys want to see anything else, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.